Hello, my name is Tim Meadows. I'm with the Intensive English Institute, and we are again with Dr. Isabel Serrano discussing healthy living. Hello, Dr. Serrano, how are you? Great, Tim, how are you? Doing well, thank you. Um, I'm curious, how can you take care of your own health? Do you have any tips for us? Yes, absolutely. Um, it is important to understand that our health starts with, um, with ourselves. So your health is not in your doctor's office, it is not in your doctor's hands. Mm -hmm. It starts with you. Looking for ways to understand yourself and your body better can lead to a healthier lifestyle. Many times we become dependent upon medicine that we think might heal some pain we have. However, if we work on knowing our body better, we may be able to understand what it is trying to tell us. Our bodies are like a car dashboard. So you know how when you see a symbol uh, light up in your car, you know that something is wrong with it. Well, the same way works with our bodies. When your body signals some pain, that is basically the light coming up on the dashboard as the body's trying to tell you, hey, something is wrong here and I need your attention. Many times we move so fast through life every single day, we do not take the time to pay the attention that our body needs. We get sick because the body has learned that it is the only way that you will stop, mm -hmm. take a break and pay attention to it. However, that does not need to happen. If you pay careful attention to your body frequently and give it all the nutrients it needs, the physical activity it needs, the love it needs, you may regain that balance in your health and your life. Right, and with specific health tips, you had mentioned that you should drink plenty of water. That's right. Why do you say this? Yes, um, we live in a dehydrated society, honestly. Um, water is the principal chemical component of your body. Your body is approximately 60% water. Um, just your brain is 70% water and your lungs are 90% water. Imagine how much water your body needs. Every system in your body depends on it. Water carries nutrients to your cells. It protects your brain, your spinal cord, and other tissues. It helps remove waste and toxins and more. Water is important for your body. It's more important for your body to survive than food. Most people do not drink enough water nowadays uh, during their entire day. However, how much water your body needs depends on different factors, including the amount of physical activity that you have each day. Mm -hmm. Another reason why it is very important to get to know your body. Yes, and not only with water you mentioned, but also with the types of food that you eat. Absolutely. 70% um, of your immune system depends on your digestion. So food is really um, important when it comes to health. Your diet should consist of whole foods, that is food, foods that come directly from the ground and that have not been processed in a factory by humans. When you go grocery shopping, make sure your cart is mostly filled by foods that do not have a label on them which means they consist of only one ingredient. For instance, green peppers, carrots, lettuce, spinach, apples, oranges, bananas. Um, organic eggs, organic meats are also good for you um, in, a, in good amounts. Whole foods are packed with vitamins, minerals, fiber, and protein, all of which are essential for a healthy body. Foods that come in a box or a can have most probably been processed. Those are the ones you want to stay away from. The fewer boxes and cans in your cart, the better. M most processed foods, that, those that come in boxes, packages, and cans, usually contain lots of sugar. Sugar may increase the risk of obesity, diabetes, heart disease, arthritis, Alzheimer's disease, and more. It also suppresses your immune system. So you must avoid sugar if you want to stay really healthy. Once again, food is medicine and what we eat every day has a strong impact on our immune system and overall health. So you, if you eat well, you will live well. Yep. 
And we thank you for your time. Um, we hope to have Dr. Isabel Serrano back on again at some point to talk more about how you can take care of your own health. Thank you.